You will hear me say this so many times to people like, hey, why aren't we? I met Sonia at a meetup. It's all you dumbasses that go to meetups and don't actually look for private money lenders. And you're just sitting there on your chair like, oh, what a, what? guys, don't go to RIAs. Don't go to meetups. Don't go to this stuff unless you know how to talk to people about getting private money. Here's the question that I ask when I go to RIAs or I go to meetups or I, even when I speak on stage at this point, here's the question. There's two questions I ask. I want you guys to write this down because you're going to, some of you knuckleheads are going to say, how, what do I say? Uh, what do I do? What do I, how do I say? Right? It's kind of like talking to a girl for the first time. <laughs> what? Like, oh my gosh, what do I say? Two questions. My students all know the answer. Here they are. Question is, why aren't we doing business together? Right? So let's say I meet somebody for the first time. Let's say Russian Eskimo, I walk up to Russian Eskimo. Oh! To Russian Eskimo. He's always in the lives. Good to see you. And I go, hey man, what's your name? Hey Pace, my name is Russian Eskimo. Cool, man. Let me ask you a question. Why are we doing business together? It's going to take people, they're going to go, wait, oh, what? I mean, obviously we came here to this RIA to do business. Why, what do we got to do? Okay, this is the second question. I always say, what do we have to do to make money together? That's the second follow-up question. So what do we have to do to make money together? It's literally every time you guys, if you guys ever get behind closed doors and you're ever in meetings with me, you will hear me say this so many times to people like, hey, why aren't we doing deals together? Why aren't you selling me a deal? And I just put people right on the spot. Why aren't we, why aren't we doing deals together? I don't know. Maybe neither one of us have deals. Okay. Um, are you doing any private money lending? No, I don't have any money. Okay, great. Well, maybe we should go knock doors together. You basically are filtering through and figuring out what to do with every human being. Here's, let me ask, let me tell you guys something really, it's a powerful thing for you guys to learn. When people are telling you who they are and what they do. Who is your daddy and what does he do? Most people are really only thinking one thing. What are they thinking? What is your favorite color? No, they're thinking, what can you do for me? That's what everybody wants to know. When you, when you go to a meetup, what can you do for me? Here's the thing, guys. We're not going to church, okay? We're not going to church. We're not going to like college or high school where there's all this social bullshit that you have to filter through. We are going to a real estate meetup or we're going to a, a seminar. We're going to these places, okay, that are very specific. People know why they're going there. So when you're asking these questions, everybody, it's okay for everybody to have this thought process of what can you do for me? What's in it for me? And then at the same time, what can I do for you? Is that why you did this for you? I met Sonia in a meetup and I literally was like, why aren't we doing business together? She's like, what? what, what, what? She's like, what's your name? Literally, I asked her that question before she even knew my name. And I said, my name is Pace. She's like, oh, okay, cool. I go, why aren't we doing deals together? She's like, oh, I don't know. You know, I'm working on deals and da, 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 da. And so you just strike up a conversation. There's three things you're always looking for. You're always looking for money, you're looking for deals, or you're looking for people to help you with those deals. Title agent, transaction coordinator, those types. Those are the only three things I'm ever really looking for. Money, deals, or people to help me with my deals. That's it. Okay, so that's how I met someone.